Hi guys. <laughs> so who cares? Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? Holy shit, I'm not sure if that's for dental work or for giving a blowjob. Supposedly it's for making your face less fat. It's a very Asian product, very Asian. Say hello to my giant Donkey Kong. Today we're going to be talking about why I think it's unhealthy and as you can tell, I just got done <laughs> unboxing things for F&M this week. I'm going to talk about why I feel like it's unhealthy to have idols and uh, before you guys go into a tizzy and go like, idols are awesome and healthy and there's nothing wrong with it and you're being a hoe bitch. Uh, I'm talking about idols. I define idols as people that you put up on a pedestal, not people that you derive inspiration from. I feel like it's great that there exists uh, competition in the world for certain like jobs and certain things so that you can you know improve yourself I feel like it's the most important thing in the world to have competition to have you know alternative views out there for you to consume so that you can make your own views you know I always have this opinion that if you stifle anyone else's creativity or you stifle anyone else's freedom of speech you're just making you're, you're silencing the opposition and therefore weakening your own position because you have less you know, ideas from other people circling around. It's basically just like only living with one ideology for your entire life, never being challenged. You're not going to have all of the knowledge that you could have obtained if you listened to everything else. Even if all of the other ideas in the world are stupid, you can now know that yours is the smartest because you've partaken in other people's ideologies and you've compared them to your own and that just strengthens your own ideas basically. So. I think it's important in the same way for you to have competition, for you to have other people that you can gain knowledge from, oh, this is uncomfortable, gain knowledge from or just basically gain inspiration from. Like I gain inspiration from tons of people. I love looking at the beautiful form of a woman and I gain aesthetic inspiration from others. I, I don't necessarily think that society even shapes what I want to look like and I know there's like a hot spot here, it's because my light today is red and I decided to make a red light so I'm not like sunburnt or anything like it looks. Here I'll even move to show you. See I'm quite normal. It's just the lighting coming from up there. Maybe I'll even change it because I don't want everyone in the comment section being like eh, and then like missing the point because they can't stand it. Okay that's better. Now I have a white hot spot and people can say that I forgot to tan half my face. Oh my god. Anyway so basically what I was saying is that I don't know I feel like so many people have idols. People that they put up on a pedestal. They see people as better than human who just are really good at you know music or like have no they have nothing you know like Kim Kardashian people are like oh, Kim Kardashian Kylie Jenner fucking Kendall Jenner whatever the fuck like oh my god I personally think that Kylie is fucking gorgeous I'm not a huge fan of like the big ass look but she's got like a really good body otherwise and a really pretty face now that she's gotten plastic surgery and stuff like she wasn't too cute when she was younger or whatever in my opinion but I think she looks fucking gorgeous I love looking at her pictures but she's just another girl and I feel like a lot of people allow celebrities to be extremely rude. Like I watched a, a story time video, I don't remember who by, but it was some woman who went to a Kylie Jenner party. She had to pay a couple hundred dollars to go to the VIP section to meet Kylie Jenner. And Kylie Jenner came into the VIP section. If I find that video, I'll post it in the description. I might not be able to find it because I don't remember the girl's name at all. But I was just watching it because it sounded interesting. And the girl basically, or Kylie Jenner basically just like snubbed off all of her fans, ignored them the entire night. And then when she went to take a picture with one of uh, the girl's friends or something, she like didn't even look her in the eyes, like to, did the snap chat like being fake nice and then threw the phone back at her and like that kind of behavior is so sobering when you think about the fact that this bitch is just another woman she's just another person she's not any more special she just happens to be born into this family that you know happened to ascend to stardom and she's no different than anyone else and the fact that she's acting like that is really like unacceptable in my opinion and I feel like a lot of people are fine with the way that Justin Bieber treats his fans or the way, you know, celebrities treat, you know, their fans because they're just like, well, they're celebrities, they've gained that right. What have they done to get that right? I mean, maybe they're really good at acting or maybe they're really good at singing, but I'm really good at a lot of things too. And that doesn't mean that I can be mean to other people because of it. That doesn't mean that I can demand other than from Rubber Tongue because he's my personal slave and it's a consensual thing. I can't demand people be subservient to me. Subservient, it's hard to to say now that my lips are all dry from all of these 
fucking ball gags I've been using. Uh, I don't demand that people are subservient to me just because I happen to be better looking than some people or I happen to be better at gaming or my channel happens to be more viewed or oh my god I have 250,000 subscribers bow down to me. I'm just another fucking human being and the fact that I act like it I feel like that's the reason why a lot of people do enjoy my videos and a lot of people like I feel like I have a more loyal viewer base than a lot of people do because I don't try to separate myself from others. I want to make a video uh, soon, and it's not going to be in this video because I want to actually make a full video about it, but I want to talk about the, the fan-friend divide. And basically what I mean by that is how people act like, would you ever fuck a fan? As if a fan is not just another person, you know, like, it's like, oh, you're on a different social class than me because you're considered the fan and I'm considered the content creator, I'm considered the celebrity, oh my god and uh, why people should or shouldn't fuck their fans, the dichotomy between the two social hierarchies and shit. Like, I want to talk about that because I feel like it's important. Uh, if you guys remember uh, the Toby Turner scandal or whatever, and how I was a little bit involved in that, and uh, how uh, Philip DeFranco and a bunch of other people were talking about how you shouldn't fuck your fans, I want to talk about my opinions on that, and I also want to talk about how... Uh, it can hurt you to act like that, to act like you're a fan. I don't know, like, I, f I have no shame in going up to someone and saying, I'm a fan of you, even if I feel like I'm on the same level as them. Like, let's say I go up to, um, I don't know, who's like a... Who, who's a YouTuber who's kind of like on my level of subscribers? Okay, like, I go to, uh, Stefanka. St Stefanka is how you say her name, right? She's Stephanie something. Uh, I consider her kind of a friend now, even though I, I made fun of her, you know, <laughs> doing the, the whole clickbait thing or whatever. Uh, I, I think she's really cool and she's at, she's at a similar level to me on YouTube. I could go up to her and be like, I'm a fan of your work and I have no qualms with doing that because to me that just means I enjoy the, your public identity and what you, the content that you're creating and I appreciate it and it's fun and I like to watch it. A lot of people act like, I don't watch your content, trying to say like we're on the same level, but I don't feel like admitting that you're a fan of someone's work is admitting that you're on a different social level, and I think it's ridiculous that a lot of people act like it is. Or like, the idea of me fucking a fan, oh that's ludicrous, like what? Of course I would fuck a fan. If they're hot, it doesn't, you know, make them any more or less. I guess it, if anything, it makes it more likely that I'll fuck them because they enjoy the thing that I'm putting my fucking heart and soul into. You know what I'm saying? Like, thank you for supporting my content. I really appreciate that. You know, now I want to fuck you slightly more than before, <laughs> right? Like, I don't really understand why I would be like, ew, now you're a fan. But this is, this is... This is content for a different video, I'm sorry. I feel like when people put other humans on a pedestal and say that they're, they're idols or whatever, like, oh, I want, I would do anything to be like them. There are a few, there are a few issues with that. The first issue is these people act like they're not human. Like, this other person isn't human. It's like they're godlike or something. And therefore, they don't see any of their flaws. They don't see any of the mean things that they do to their fans. But more importantly, they see their lives as this amazing, beautiful, shiny, perfect thing and therefore they become depressed about their own lives because they wish that they could have that person's life. The grass is always greener on the other side when in reality I feel like a lot of famous people, a lot of rich people have just as many if not more problems than the middle class because of like their drug addictions and the pressures that they have about like being perfect and it hurts you know, the celebrities and the famous people and the rich people just as much as it hurts the fans. It's just like it's an illusion, you know? Like, that person ju has problems like you do. It may not be monetary problems, but a lot of people who are famous and rich, they just squander their money away anyway and become fucking poor again. So, it could even be financial problems. You are a human just like them. Similar problems, just in a different vein, and there's no reason to say, like, Oh my god, I wish I could be this person, because there's no possible way you can know how perfect or how unperfect this person's life is, imperfect, I guess, uh, without actually being a part of it. And even if you're a part of it, even if you're like a publicist or a friend, you can't possibly know unless you're that person. So to assume that that person has an ex extraordinary life and hate on your life because of it is just, it's illogical, it's, it's emotionally distressing, and it's hurtful to your psyche. I just, I don't agree with it. I don't feel like you should ever look at an Instagram page and see all of these girls. Like, I think 
there's nothing harmful, in my opinion, with a girl posting a perfect, photoshopped, amazing picture. I see that as a work of art, that's how she wants to portray herself, but any person with a shred of common sense knows that you don't always look perfect all the time. You don't always, you know, take the most perfect picture in the perfect lighting with this fucking, like, filter that makes your skin look like cream. All of that stuff is just, it's art. And stop looking at it like, oh, I'm so imperfect because this person's Instagram picture looks perfect. Like, come on, have common sense, have some, you know, self-love <laughs> to know that you're not that much lower. You're no different than anyone else, really, you know? It's just like the makeup they use or the money that they've spent on looks or the, you know, app that they downloaded onto their phone to make their skin look creamy. They, they cry, they have issues, they're stressed about things. And to compare yourself to someone else is only to let yourself down and that's how I feel it is. And I feel a lot of people will do things, is there like a fucking bug on my arm? Okay, no, it's on the lens. There's like a little black dot, like a tiny microscopic, microscopic black dot on the viewfinder, and I thought it was actually on my arm. I'm like, holy shit. But anyway, I don't know, I feel like if you see someone for more than they are, you end up seeing yourself for less than you are. And you don't have a handle on reality if you think that, you know, celebrities are, like, godlike or meant to be worshipped. Like, I worship some people's skill at the guitar, but I've met a lot, enough famous people and enough talented people to know that sometimes the talent stops there, and it's very shocking, especially when you're into, like, metal, like, math metal and power metal and, like, things like, okay, Dragon Force. The Dragon Force fucking guitarist, that Asian guy. To imagine him being anything less than a spiritual god of godliness with the most intelligent fingers and the brain of a, you know, fucking pinky in the brain brain, like a brain brain brain, because of how fucking amazingly talented he is and how quickly he can play the guitar riffs and stuff. R really, that that's all it is. It's just him being good at something because he practiced. You can do the exact same thing. He's no better than you, other than the fact that he's invested the time and he might have had a little bit more natural talent or musical talent than you have. Anyone can do that. And the fact, I feel like there are so few people who are reaching self-actualization, who are actually getting really good at the things that they're, they have hobbies of, or getting, you know, improving themselves to the point where they're just like, I am the best me that I can be, because they put that barrier there, and they go like, oh, this person is famous and rich and amazing, he must be perfect and godlike, there's no way I could do that, there's definitely a way you can do that, you can fucking do anything you set your mind to, and if you can't do it, you can do something else that's just as amazing, if you apply yourself and stop sitting around like people who are better than you is something that you like like music or something or just being rich and famous for being rich and famous like putting out a sex tape all that stuff is it's just one fact about a person it's not who they actually are it doesn't set them apart from you and a lot of people will sit around dreaming of these lives and thinking that there's something like they don't have that it factor or they don't have blah 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 they don't have the talents or whatever I don't even like using the word talent because I feel like natural talent is so subjective and it might not even be a fucking thing, you know, like, you might be just slightly better from the get-go, but I feel like anyone can get to that level, you know, with most things. Most things are doable if you put your mind to it and so many people just spend their times fawning over a life that they can never have rather than going out and reaching and getting that life and it makes you depressed, it makes you, you lack common sense and logic you look at these people as something better than you are and therefore you allow them to treat you and other fans like shit while still supporting them. I really feel like it's more important for you to see yourself on the level of your idols or whatever and squash the term idol rather than, you know, just being like, damn, I could never get there. It's, it's selling yourself short, basically. I feel like I've exhausted all of my ideas on the topic. I don't know if I've articulated them well, but I feel like you probably get the gist of what I think. It's been like 14 minutes, so I should probably go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like the video and subscribe if you did. Please check out my gaming channel, youtube.com slash terrybabcockgames. My Instagram, where I'm gonna post a bunch of pictures of me wearing these ridiculous fucking ball gags and shit. And yeah, I really just appreciate you guys listening to me ramble because my ideas are there and I'm working more on being able to talk non-stop 
and to be fluid with my thoughts and to not go off topic unless it's actually going to be really entertaining for the video to do so and I just I want to sound like Ignis from Final Fantasy 15 man it would be so wonderful if I had the eloquence and the vocabulary when I speak that he has oh my god I would just orgasm every time I spoke it'd be like oh my god I'm pseudo British now that I'm so intelligent I have the proper accent you when speaking English. <laughs> I fucking love you guys. I will see you guys whenever the fuck I post another video. Let me know your thoughts on this topic. And if you guys didn't uh, watch my last FNM, there's actually like this really cool feature on YouTube now where I personally can like, like with a little heart. It's really cute. And my, oh my god, I activated my chin trap card. Ah. Um, it's really cool. Like, uh, I can like a comment and then you guys can see that Tara personally liked it <gasps> so you can fangirl over me because I should be your idol oh yes but no basically it just says that I read your comment I enjoyed it and I'm not just one of the thumbs ups like you can see that the broadcaster actually liked the comment I can also pin comments now so if I want to ask you guys a question in the comments I can pin that or if one of you guys write a really really amazing comment I can pin that up to the top as like the main comment that everyone should uh, look at and I think that's really cool it gives more diversity and more community to YouTube and so I appreciate that let's take a fucking selfie with the the ball guy <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> ow